Now what we're going to do is take a look at a core that actually has the hypershock material added into it. It has the same starting points as standard cores do. We're actually going to put some core resin in here. And we're going to take some of our styrene and we're going to put it in here as well. And we're going to mix this up like we did with the other material. It's really fluid just like the other materials were. Now we're actually going to add a material called, wouldn't you like to know what this stuff is? It's kind of a green gooey material. It's one of the components of the hypershock technology. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there. And there's another material I'm going to add to this as well. I can't tell you what this is because it's a super secret material. And I'm not even going to show you what this material is. But I'm going to add just a little bit of this in here, not a lot. And the last thing, an activator called Mystery Juice. And this is the last component that we'll add to this. Now once I mix these ingredients together, this hypershock material will transform this resin base that cores are built off of into something that is completely, completely different. And what you'll get is that characteristic green color that you see to the core of the, of the uh, swerve core. It shows that the materials themselves have been added to that. And as I stir this up, it takes just a few minutes to get it active and activate the materials. And what you will see is initially it turns into this gooey material. Now that we've had a close look at this hypershock technology that's been added to this core, you just basically see the differences between these two materials. And I'll hold these up just so that you can obviously see the characteristic green color that you see in the swerve core with that material added to it. The thinness of the characteristics of this resin mixture right here that industry standard cores are made from and the differences between the hypershock material and this icky gooey slime that you see in through here. Basically that technology is transforming the polymer backbone so that it actually can impart qualities like you saw those balls drop it can actually impart the quality of characteristics from that material into the core itself so that the hypershock technology can do what it needs to do. So what does that mean to bowlers? Well, if you take a look at the graph that we have to show you, you'll see that the differences in the performance between an industry standard core and a hypershock technology core are pretty different from each other. Now let's take a look at the swerve with the hypershock technology with our own ball tester, Logan Joyner.